So time for this week's Moore's Millions races then. And the first one today is the three mile five version. And it's it's leg 11. It's a 0 to 140 this week. And we've got the usual big field. Uh, let's take a look at them. In the rain, Timothy Dalton at the top for Paul Rhodes. Pray for the Queen for Joshua Sutherland. Sandusy on for Molly Ed Surfer. Sword Lake for Jim Murray. Kisses of Fire for Darren Thompson. Blackbird for David Robertson. Tills with Glenboy for Obi One. Hole in Your Soul for Darren Thompson. Birdalini for Obi One. Last suspect, Kevin Meenahan. Tiger Cut for Graham Clutterbuck. Ashton for James Follis. Tara's Man for Alex Cherry. W again, Kevin Meenahan. Ten of Spades, Graham Clutterbuck. Malto Bene. Molly at Surfer, Hollander, Stu Gray, Latterly, Iota, Darren Howes, Rustic Rain, Alex Cherry, Derriere Lavoie for Martin Leedham, according to the boss, Darren Howes, Ellis Rich, Carter Agante, Sabrina Duncan, Martin Leedham, Obligato, Tam King, Oldgate Cat, Garner Agante, Ball 5, P. Hannon, and Dell's Ghost for Derek Hinton. A big old field then. We like to see big fields in these long distance chases. We've got lots of thrills and spills, plenty of fallers and pull ups, no doubt. As we get ever closer to the Grand National, just a couple of weeks away, I think now. I think it's Cheltenham next week, isn't it? Anyway, away we go. Look at that big Moors Millions final one that is to come later in the season as well, of course. So they're racing towards the first then of the 26. And quite a few of these are long, but entry right in the National. We've already lost something there. It's Tara's man. So Tara's man's on the deck. One's out of the race already. As they come down to the second. We'll skip over that one, okay, with last suspect. Now the clear leader with the Arrogante pair are looming on the outside. They like to go to the front, don't they? Ellis Rich is one of them old gate cats. The other also Malto Bene is up on the inside. That one's fallen nearly a couple of times this season, so Molly at Surf will be pleased to see that one on its feet over the first three fences then. As they come to the fourth, which is a ditch. And we've lost something else there. Something's gone. Kisses of fire's gone. So that's Darren Thompson's out. Still got another one in there, probably though. I'm pretty sure he has. He's got a um, hole in your soul. He's still got, so it's okay. And Alex Cherry's fallen was Tara's man, but he's still got rustic rain on that one. He's being hampered by his own loose horse at the moment. So, a double whammy there for Alex as we take a look up at the view from the back of Prey for the Queen. Well, that's an interesting side on shot we don't see very often. These runners get you know, one mistake with the horse in front, and you're at it. As we watch them over that next one, that's interesting. Ball five was a faller there at some somewhere in the uh, middle of all that. Let's so take the next one. And come down to the ditch. We're back to a normal view. Uh, last suspect led over it. Oh, we got over it okay that time. We last suspect in the lead from. Ellis Rich and W again. Sword Lake Malto Bene is after that one as they take the water past the big screen of the winning post. Don't worry, folks, that water jump won't be jumped the last time round. They'll go up the little chute and not take the water jump on the final circuit, but they've got another two circuits to go. And last suspect is the leader. And this Richard's second. W again is third, which makes it a 1 3 for Kevin Meenahan. Then comes Sword Lake. Malto Bene still going well. Then Dell's Ghost and Pray for the Queen. Sandosion is after that one. Then Hollander. As we look towards the back of the field there, we can see the old gate cat has dropped right out of it. And I think there must be something wrong with that one because that's normally a front runner and he's tailing off. So so that one's recovered in time for next week. That old gate cat is almost certainly out of the race, I would think. We see Timothy Dalton take that one. I suppose we could say we're sitting on the back of a Timothy Dalton who's James Bond. It could be a view to a thrill. Could it? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, last suspect. Well, Sabrina Duncan's fallen while I'm waffling, so that serves me right because that's mine. Uh, so we take the next one. We're missing all the fallers, really, while we're doing this jockey cam stuff. And last suspect is the leader still from Ellis Rich is in second. W again is in third. Then Dells goes to Moto Bene. Then Sword Lakes after that one. As they skip over that ditch. And we haven't really had a good run through the field yet because we can keep whizzing onto the old jockey cam business, but we're going to run through the whole field as they come 
round this turn then, and last suspect is the leader. For Manis Rich in second, W again is third, then Molto Bene is fourth. Then comes Sword Lake in fifth, and then Devil's Ghost is sixth, and Ossion is seventh, and Honda is eighth. Then Pro for the Queen is ninth, then Tillsworth, Glenboy, and Birdalini, then Blackbird, and then Tiger Cut, Latterly Iota, holding your souls after that, then Obligato, according to the boss, Timothy Dalton, and Ashton, then Diriel of Wild, Ten of Spades, and finally Rustic Rainer's Old Gate Cat has eventually been pulled up in the distance and down to this next plane one they go and we'll lose another one at the back rustic rain has been pulled up now so bit of bad luck there for alex cherry both of his out of the race and the horses that remain i've just skipped over number 16 and they're racing down towards the next they have skipped over 50 oh and he's gone there's a fall of their w again has gone crashing fall stable companion last suspect is still in the lead though as they take the 17th and another one's down there. Something else has gone. Two have gone. Two fallers there. Oh, maybe even three. Ellis Rich has gone. According to the boss has gone. Sandosian has gone. So, the fall is coming thick and fast then now as they come over the water and past the winning post with one more circuit to go. And how many have we lost now? Oh, there's a lot of them gone. Ten of them out of the race. Which is quite as many as we get in the Grand National sometimes. And it's last suspect in the lead from Molto Bene in second. Sword Lake is third. Dell's Ghost is four. Holland is five. Pray for the Queen is sixth. Then Tiger Cut and Obligato and Blackbird. And Tillsworth Glenboy. Then Bird Lane and Ashton and Hole in Your Soul. And Latterly Iota. And Deria Lavoie. Ten of Spades. And Timothy Dalton is now the back marker. There's a mile still to go. And plenty more jumping still to be done. Unbelievable amount of fallers in this. We've had two or three pull up as well, but the fallers have been um, really dramatic as they take the next. And Timothy Dalton was slow at the back. Well, it looks like it might be the next one to struggle, but last suspect takes them over that one nicely in the lead. From Sword Lake in second, Obligato is getting closer in third. Dell's Ghost is next, then Tiger Cut as they take the 21st. Diriel of Walla, last of the main group by Rick Timothy Dalton, is getting further adrift. It's strange to see a poor road horse run out the back like that. But it's last suspect in the lead from Hollander, and now Hollander comes through to take it up. Pray for the Queen is there as well, over that ditch they go. And all safely over that one then, with Hollander the new leader. Hollander's in front from Pray for the Queen in second. Last suspect is third, then comes Tiger Cut, then Obligato, then Molto Bene, then Sword Lake and Blackbird and Ashton and De Dell's Ghost and... Tills with Glenboy is trying to get a little bit closer as well, but suddenly Hollander has shot clear and gone clear by a good five or six lengths. It's Hollander from Pray for the Queen and Tiger Cut, then Obligato, Molto Bene, and last suspect. Difficult to see anything else getting into it with just less than three furlongs to go. And Hollander looks like if he stands up, he wins. Tiger Cut chasing in second, Pray for the Queen is third, then Molto Bene over to third, last they go, and Hollander is not stopping. Hollander's clear by about five lengths to Tiger Cut over the second, that's another good big jump. He's over that one, he's still got two more to take. It's Hollander in the lead from Tiger Cut in second. Hollander comes down the second last, the final ditch, and gets over it nicely. Tiger Cut's beginning to close, so does Molto Bene and pray for the Queen. Hollander just needs one good jump at the last. Hollander comes up to it, gets over it nicely, gets away from it well. This is a good one for Stu. Hollander's gonna, Hollander's gonna take this one really easily. And up towards the line, Hollander wins it from Tiger Cut second. Pray for the Queen was third, then Molto Bene, last suspect. Blackbird was after that, then Tills with Glenboy. Timothy Dalton was the last one to finish. You don't say that very often for a poor road source. But Hollander takes it for Stu Gray. He's got a good one for Cheltenham there. Tiger Cut from Pontypool Racing, Graham Clubs, but was second. Pray for the Queen, Joshua Sutherland was third. Molto Bene. Ben Averbonnet served for fourth and last suspect for Kevin Minahan was fifth.